I have a prophetic word about the coming financial system twofold. One, I began to see this picture of this BRICS scenario with all the nations that are coming on. You even see some of the nations over in the East joining together. A recent uh, Middle Eastern nation was joining in on this. And in addition to this, I had a word of the Lord that encouraged me as this was beginning to happen because we're going into a season of two systems. We're going into the season where the old model will not work like it once did and it's going to begin to be ruffled. But if you notice President Xi, uh, you see how he was uh, walking through a process of trying to get here with the US and all these things were taking place around it. Uh, you saw how they cleaned up the streets of San Fran. And what began to happen there is it began to usher in a, a preview for a spirit they wanted to cause to manifest. Hey, welcome everybody, please repost this right away. Uh, this is a, a now prophetic word. I saw something this morning and I'm gonna share this with you and I'm gonna, I have a word specifically about bricks and a, a word specifically about that. I'm gonna share it in a minute. I wanna thank you partners for being a part of this. Uh, we are growing at an astronomical rate and we're so grateful to you. I feel the unction of the spirit for you this coming year. Now you're gonna hear a lot of doom and gloom. It is very serious. But remember, here's the prophetic word I have, and I'm gonna share more of this. There's three parts to this prophetic word. I saw the nation, the BRICS nations coming together, but here's the big thing you need to understand. Please hear me clearly, okay? I saw the war, the roar, and more, all right? I know, and I'm not typically your rhyming prophetic guy here, but this is what I saw in 24. I saw the war, the roar, and more, and uh, I think it's Lance who's been prophesying the open door, and I agree with all that, but listen to me, the, the war, the roar, and more, and there is something in the rhyming that's happening for this season, but hear me right now. I, I really, pray for me, okay? I'm gonna release this, this is important. I saw the BRICS nations really taking a lunge forward into this next year. You're gonna see it start with Europe, you're gonna see it start with other nations, and then you're gonna see the financial norms and values we've known shake and change. They're gonna to begin to shake and change dramatically and radically, okay? And when this happens, the way people built ivory towers are the way they've always done it and the way it's always been and oh, don't worry about this or that, nonsense. It's gonna get wild out there. But here's what I wanna say. In that same understanding, there will be a great awakening that takes place in every area that the kingdom of God offers. And what I mean by this is, I heard these words about bricks. Bricks would take a step forward mightily in this coming year and beyond. And then I heard, but their plans will ultimately not go how they expect. In other words, there's gonna be an epic failure as well. An epic failure for what happens with bricks. And because, here's what the Spirit began to show me, that what they're bringing to this picture is the same thing they're trying to run from. So over in the Red Dragon Nation, what is happening there is in the Red Dragon Nation, they are um, in, a, in dire straits financially. There is a dire straits financial scenario going on with that nation, and it's going to begin to manifest more and more. That's why there's desperation. That's why they're purchasing uh, cities and building cities with no occupants in them. And then you're recognizing they are turning from that and trying to buy land here. And I sense clearly the land they're trying to buy here. Should we get the right person in? And we got to intercede because it's not set. But should we get the right person into a place of authority in this coming cycle, if you get my meaning, what will happen is, is they will just call their investments forfeit. I have a word about this, that they will call their investments forfeit. Now we're gonna see a lot of rumbling before we get to this point, a lot of challenges, but lift up your eyes. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, because there's going to be a pushback against this wicked antichrist agenda. And this, this pushback is gonna come in the form of supernatural provision in the middle of it all. So the word more, the word the war, the roar, and more. When I see the word more coming on the horizon, the Lord is saying to those who are faithful, to those who are about to, here's the word of the Lord for more. Are you ready? Here's what it is. I want you to hear this. Please repost this right now. The word more, more is coming to those who are committed to making God rich to making God wealthy, to making God 
the author and the finisher, to making God the one that's going to begin to increase, the one that's going to begin to overcome, the one that's going to be satisfied with abundance. And how do we do that? I hope you're ready for this. What do you give somebody that has everything or in your perception has everything? God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. God owns this, God owns that. The way we make God rich is to give him the one thing you make people rich, you have everything, you give them the one thing they don't have. And here's what God does not have. I hear him saying these words, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Of whom of you will hear the cries and the deep desires of God's heart, right? And God's deep cry and his deep desire is this. Hey, thank you. People are saying I'm a partner and I'm reposting. Thank you for that. We love you. We're going to, man, we're going to help our partners. Listen, here's what you give God. His lost creation. In other words, you go win people to Jesus. You influence people for Jesus. You bring them back to God. Because everybody that's out there that's not born again, they are not his children. They're his creation. And his creation needs to get born again so they can become his children. And now this is something that I am so burning for right now. I mean, I'm, I'm on fire for this. That's why we, in our part, being a prophetic type of ministry, an apostolic type of ministry, we're called to raise up a million clear-eyed, clear-minded reformers to ultimately go get a billion, which is to make God rich. To make God rich. I want to make God a billionaire. A billionaire by bringing souls into the kingdom. But it's going to take clear-eyed, clear-minded people to do it. Now back to this prophecy. Okay, hear me. I saw the war, the roar, and more. And in that process, I was also seeing uh, hey, and people are asking about our ministry here. Let me say this. I'm gonna give you this word, a strong prophetic word. I need to I need to bring one piece to this that's very important right now. DR Harrison's on here. I love this man of God. Um, the only way that people should partner here or so here is you go to josephz.com. Please avoid all the scams out there, and you guys have been smart about it. josephz.com. If you want to help us go win a million to raise up a billion to, to make God rich, then let's do this. But listen, the word I saw again was the war, the roar, and the, the war, the roar, and more. And more is going to be for those who become clear-eyed, clear-minded disciples who are committed to doing everything it takes to get people born again. He who wins souls is wise. And you're going to see more and more and more of this. And in this picture, that word more, this is what I need to land on with you. You need to hear this. The word more, more, more in store for 24. In the middle of this cataclysmic uh, shaking of bricks, the cataclysmic thing where they're trying to do the, the crypto thing, the cataclysmic deal where there's going to be cyber uh, assaults. Because I woke up September 16th, I had an open vision about Las Vegas. And the Spirit of the Lord said to me, what happens in Vegas, what is happening in Vegas when I stay in Vegas? People said, my goodness, you must have known there was a cyber attack going on. I didn't know. I was traveling and ministering everywhere. And I woke up and had that vision. But to prove that it was true, that same day, at that same moment, the Lord said that uh, Jerusalem or Israel would march against, they would march. And they would indeed do that. It would be a new precedent for them and set a new precedence for what was happening in the world. And I believe this is bringing us into what is right now a cold WW3, but we are going to end up in, I believe, cyber WW3 and a hot WW3 in a whole different way. And, um, you know, this weekend, you know, we're traveling right now, but this coming weekend here, on actually Sunday, we're going to be ministering in uh, Minneapolis at my friend Charles Karuku's place uh, at the hub. We're dedicating his building. I uh, had the honor of coming in to dedicate his building. And so we're going to be dedicating it, praying over it, releasing the word of the Lord for it. Um, people are asking, how do I get you here? How do I get you there? You got to contact uh, at zministries.com. That's how you do it. And you just begin to stand with us. Oh, I see our friends, uh, Justin and Casey are on here. We love you guys. Um, but listen, if you, um, 
if you want to join us near Minneapolis, I'm going to be there doing that. We will be uh, preaching and declaring and, of course, dedicating the building. And I'm so grateful to be with all the people of God that are there. I have praised Jesus. But now, here's the word. I need, a, I need to land on this. The word more. Hear me. This is hopeful for you. Okay. And listen, I only say what I really see. And I've been seeing a lot of really difficult things coming and they are still coming. But the Lord gave me this glimmer of hope. I, th I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because if you tell me, Lord, the world's burning, I'm yours to command. I'll tell everybody, there's no hope. The world's burning. <laughs> and I don't care who's saying what. I will say what I see. But I saw the word more. I saw the word more. Thank you for buying Servants of Fire. Thank you. That josephz.com is where you can get all of our books. I have a new one coming up very soon. Unbelievable endorsements in this book. And the topic is called demystifying yeah it's good but listen it's going to be a book on prophecy it's powerful but the word more okay let me lock in on this the word more more is coming to the faithful more is coming to the bold more is coming out of Luke or, or rather Mark chapter 4 where it says, anyone who's given up houses, lands, mothers, brothers, and sisters, for my sake, Jesus said, and the gospel. Anybody who's given up to go up, anybody who's let go to let God, anybody that's laid it all down to go all in with the Lord Jesus Christ, anybody that's done this in the past, and you still have a chance to do this. Everybody who's given it all from their heart, financially, physically, lands, families. It's cost you everything to serve the Lord. I heard the, the word of the Lord say, more, more, more is coming to you. In other words, when the world starts to dip and rumble, the Lord is going to provide you with more. It'll be that light in Goshen. It's going to be that supernatural provision where the Israelite sandals did not wear out because they that win souls are wise. And the evangelism is going to merge with the prophetic this coming year like you've never seen before. Evangelism is going to merge with prophets, the real stuff. He who wins souls is wise, and the Lord is saying, I will, I will put oil on the evangelist. I'm putting precious oil on the evangelist. I'm putting oil. And those that are caught up in nonsensical uh, conspiracies and foolishness and all these things they're obsessing over, get back to souls and quit talking about stupid and let's do it. Now, this is coming from somebody that every single weekday morning, I may bring up some wild conspiracies and I do it boldly and proudly and after the word of the Lord and humbly before our God. And I do it in a way that I begin to say, here's what's going on. Here's what's happening, and here's where it is, and this could be the real truth. But at the end of the day, circle up, land on the Word of God, and stay in the truth. More is coming to those that are on assignment. And the Lord is going to speak to some of you about locations you know you're supposed to be in, and you, you either overstepped, you went the wrong way, or you've been trying to think about your own safety. Don't run for safety. Run for obedience. And more is going to find you. Some of the safe havens that people think they're going to some of these safe havens they're going to find is the opposite, amazingly enough. Some of the places where they think it's a safe haven, they're going to find the opposite is true. And the Lord is saying to many of us right now, he's saying, hear the word of the Lord, hear these words and live, continue to walk in the, the full counsel of God, and more will come to you. Now, Bricks, I saw that taking a massive step forward, and they're going to try to choke out the U.S. currency. They're going to try to choke it out. But as this begins to happen, I saw that the issues they brought with them to BRICS will remain with them. And there's going to be a, a trembling in that, that picture as well. The Red Dragon, it's financially in trouble. And that's why they're doing this desperation pull. Hey, look who I have back here. There she is. Don't leave home without her. <laughs> the best. Praise God. I'm actually, just so you guys know, I'm not driving. Jason's driving. Ilya, uh, or Elijah, back here. Uh, but we're we're doing that. So the camera's flipped. That's why it's like this. People are like, Joseph, are you driving? No, I'm not driving. <laughs> but let me say this to you. I believe right now, and I need to release this over you. The Lord spoke to me and began to say, listen, and we are, we are in the middle of... Um, 
trying to get our building paid off. And I'm believing God so we don't have to use man's system to do it. I'm believing God that our, our partners are the, are the bank to take care of this. Our partners are our financial agreement to take care of our building. And I think, Jason, we're at roughly ballpark. How much? About seven? Yeah. About 700,000 would knock out the building. And we want to do that. We really want to do it. And so anybody that wants to sow, you just become a partner. We want to do this because that is our mechanism of making a million, raising up a million to reach a billion. That's the mechanism. And, you know, and I just encourage you to go to josephz.com and sow your best, your best to the end of the year giving, standing with us because we are believing that. Uh, that, that we're going to be able to do this World Broadcast Center at a higher level. The World Broadcast Center is a serious mechanism God put in our hands uh, at a fraction of the value, and we want to take it and honor the Lord by just completely paying it off. That's what we want to do. And there's more opportunities that are right in front of us that I know we can do because of it. And I'm telling you, there's more coming in 24. More in 24. More is coming in 24 for you. But I heard the words of the Lord regarding bricks. That it's going to be scary. It's going to rise. They're going to try to even adjust. And uh, this next year, you're going to hear more and more rumblings, if not suddenly, about them trying to lay hold of cash and stop cash. But I'm here to tell you right now that the Lord is going to begin to expose and bring some of this out. And I believe that there's going to be a trembling and a rumbling. There's going to be some more rulings this year. Get ready for it significant rulings significant rulings I believe you're gonna see a significant ruling regarding 45 a significant ruling where the the the, uh, the wicked are gonna groan here's the ruling I see coming the wicked will groan and the righteous will rejoice I see a significant ruling coming even involving what I sense is it really could be the Supreme Court and there's gonna be a ruling where the wicked will groan and the righteous will rejoice regarding 45, regarding several things. But the Spirit of the Lord is making a way for you, and I gotta tell you, this is the hour, this is the time, this is the season. On a bad day, you're anointed to be the best there is. I hope you'll help us join up and you'll become part of the Million for a Billion. You simply do it by going to josephz.com. You text the keyword give to 719-259-0029 right here at the screen. You can see that. I encourage you to do that. Um, you know, avoid all the scams. And of course, I say this every time because we have so many new people on every time we do it. So I don't mean to be redundant, but I do it for the sake of all the new viewers and those that do it. But I'll tell you, we are so grateful for you. I hope you partner today. I hope you stand with us for whatever amount you value. We don't put value in what you value, but we are believing. We are believing for a massive increase in partners going into this coming year because we're going to bring the fight. Bring the fight. I'm going to stand with so many people just like DR. I'm going to stand with people that are out there doing the real stuff and we're going to do it through media and uh, I've had a major prophecies come in and begin to command us to really accelerate media so thank you for standing with us thank you for joining uh, please repost this everywhere and don't forget to get on the text to join list at 719-719-3637 719-719-3637 three six three seven and that's a very big deal the reason it is if all the platforms get shaken rocked uh, taken apart whatever we'll be here and we can text you from that number so text the keyword join to seven one nine seven one nine three six three seven our app is free the text to join is free everything that we offer is free to you we're just making it available so we can reach out to you our partners pay for so much so well we're, we're getting to where we need to be so I'm going to jump off here, but I just bless you. I speak increase to you and listen to me. There is more coming in 24. There's the war, the roar and more. And I know Lance prophesied the open door. And I do believe that God is going to begin to supernaturally provide for you in the middle of all this. I hope you partner today. I hope you stand with us. Hope you help us get our building knocked out. But either way, I'm going to be here for you every day. Don't miss Red Church tomorrow morning. Praise God. If somebody's, hey, brothers and sisters, I'm pledging five. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jenny. Somebody's pledging, they're saying, I'm pledging 500 and if I can get people to match me, we can raise that up. Well, if anybody wants to match Jenny, thank you. I'm very honored by that, I really am. Thank, I bless you, Jenny, and I bless anyone that wants to match her today. 
in Jesus' name. Anybody that wants to match her, I bless her. Thank you. Any partner that says, hey, match me, thank you for that. And if you're becoming a partner today, please comment on the feed, partnering today, so we can celebrate you, so we can do this. And how many of you liked, did you like that long form broadcast we did yesterday, where we were kind of on there and we talked for about two and a half hours and just talked and answered questions? If you guys like that, we'll continue doing it. Father, I speak life over every person, over every single person in Jesus' name. The blessing of the Lord is on you. The favor of God is on you. More in 24. Thank you for being here. Jesus is Lord. Please share this everywhere. Let's break all the uh, hindrances, we'll just call it that, to people that don't want to. Uh, the text to join number is 719. People are asking. It's 719 719 3637 and the keyword join is what you text to that number. If you're talking about giving, what you do is you you uh, you text 719-259-0029 if that's what you're asking me and you text the keyword give. But or you just go to josephz.com. Download the app, Joseph Z app from your favorite app store. I love you guys. Jesus is Lord and I'll see you very very soon. I had to release this prophetic word. Please go back and listen to it. There's a lot in this and I think somebody'll be blessed and encouraged and clear with what's coming. God bless you guys. Thank somebody's saying they're going to match Jenny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Isn't that a blessing? Yes. Guys, if you're going to start matching 500 like that, thank you. There's partners, you know, I stand up in meetings sometimes, Heather and I, from our own uh, lack even at times, we'll stand up and say, you know what, I'm going to give 10 grand. <laughs> People are like, what? And that's like, you know, that that is like unbelievable sometimes. And we do that and we don't have it when we do it most of the time. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Jesus is Lord. I bless you guys. Oh, wow. People are saying I'll pledge 250 to help with the match. Thank you. You know, if you're watching this now or after and you want to match any of this or jump on here and make comments, thank you. We might have to do that and talk about matching. Thank you, guys. Honestly, honored. We love you. Thank you so much. JosephZ.com. Jesus is Lord. I have to go. Thank you for being here. Repost this everywhere. Please like and subscribe to all the platforms. Only like and follow us on Facebook. I love you guys. Jesus is Lord. Share this everywhere. Talk to you soon.